dear students the next topic we are going to study is flash photolysis this is also one of the method used to study the kinetics of fast reactions okay by using a method called flash photolysis listen this method was uh, first introduced by knowledge and water okay knowledge and water in 1945 okay in 1999 in 1999 knowledge and water they have introduced this uh, flash photolysis method of studying the kinetics of fast reaction The instrument used for flash photolysis is as shown in the diagram. Here, a condenser of high microfarad capacity okay, is a condenser or a capacitor is used. High microfarad capacity is charged to about ten thousand volts by a high voltage applied. Okay. By high voltage supply, the capacitor is charged to about ten thousand volts. Okay, by means of a uh, yeah, trigger signal, what happens? By means of a trigger signal, a yeah, spark is produced in the spark gap, which permits the rapid flow of a flash lamp. Okay, a rapid flow of a flash lamp. In which the current is formed, yeah, very high amount of current is formed. The yeah, flash is formed. Okay, the flash lamp is closed. The condenser discharges a yeah, very high amount of current. Okay, within a very short time, the yeah, high intensity of light is uh, formed from the uh, or the yeah, high current is discharged for about few microseconds. This flash lamp falls. Uh, Or incident on the sample to about a very few micro that is nanoseconds. Okay, a few nanoseconds, the high amount of uh, light or the flash is uh, incident on the sample. Okay, what happens? The rate of disappearance of excited molecules. So as a result, what happens? Many number of uh, excited intermediates are formed. More, almost uh, most of the reactants goes to the excited stage. Okay, when after getting excited, when they come to the ground state, they give the signal to the monochromator. So in this method, okay, in this method. The sample is subjected to a powerful flash having the energy of about 10 to the power of 5 joules. It has the energy of about 10 to the power of 5 joules. It is passed through the substance for about 10 microseconds. Okay, for about 10 microseconds, and the flash is so intense that almost all the reactants are go to the excited state. Or it 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 is converted into the free radicals. Okay, the samples are excited. As a result, most of the molecules are dissociated and absorbs radiation. When it comes to the ground state, they emit radiation that is studied. It is passed through the monochrome matter and that is registered in the oscilloscope. So therefore, this is by flash photolysis. Is followed as a function of time, okay? As a function of time by absorption photometry. So by using the absorption photometry, we are we are finding out uh, the kinetic studies of this reaction or the concentration of the excited molecules after excitation. It comes to the ground state and the amount of radiation emitted. So therefore, the spectrometer is uh, set here. So that the light uh, 
uh, which is transmitted from the monochrome matter is studied here. So therefore in this method, a very high intensive flash lamp is paused for about only 10 microseconds so that all the reactants go to the excited state or it is dissociated into the free radicals and the amount of radiation absorbed depends upon the amount of uh, uh, what is called as amount of substance goes to the excited state and uh, therefore the the light which is transmitted out is studied uh, or registered in the oscilloscope. So this is the basic fundamental, this is the basic instrumentation of this uh, flash photolysis. By using this instrument, we can find out uh, the kinetics of very fast reactions which comes to an end within a very short time that is of about 10 to the power of minus 3 or 10 to the power of minus 4 seconds. Okay, the next topic we will study in the next class.